Hello and welcome to the Morning Metaphysical Report. This report is for Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. My name is Lysandra Xanthus and I am a clairvoyant psychic and energy healer. Sorry, one moment. Just trying to handle the... There we go. Hello. So during this report, I am going to be guiding you through several uh, spiritual practices that um, I find beneficial to practice every day, as well as giving you the astrology, numerology, and tarot card reading for April 15th. So I like to begin by using a singing bowl. So I'm going to ring this for us briefly to uh, help bring our vibrations to a place of peace, release a little uh, negativity we may possibly be carrying with us um, to stimulate our energy so we are receptive to the healing and information during the report. Welcome. All right, next I would like to guide us through a grounding exercise. This is a valuable daily exercise to assist you in releasing any energy that may be negative or doesn't belong to you, to kind of unburden yourself and lift your vibration. If you practice this every day over a long period, you can, it is a way to heal yourself and slowly work out anything that may be amiss in your energy, including energy blocks, toxic attachments, and anything else. So we're going to do this together right now. It's fairly simple. I hope you'll follow along. Imagine yourself inside of a large bubble. This is your aura. Now imagine gently attached to the bottom of this bubble is a pipe that leads deep into the earth. For the sake of simplicity, imagine that this bubble is filled with a dark colored energy. Imagine or intend that this dark colored energy is draining down your bubble, down into the pipe and into the earth. Breathe as you see this in your mind or intend. We release all energy that does not belong to us. We release all energy that is not serving our highest good. We release all pain, negativity, toxic attachments, energy blocks, and anything else we are now ready to let go of. We release these things from every layer of our aura, from every chakra, from every part of our being and body. We release. As you see the last of this energy exit the bottom of your bubble, see the drain at the bottom disappear and know that your aura is sealed and complete. The pipe falls away from you and dissipates into the earth and you've grounded. All right. After releasing energy as we've just done, it's very helpful to replace that energy or um, what's the word? Replenish ourselves. A good practice to do this after a clearing or cleansing of any kind. And we're going to be going to be doing this together with our mini healing of the day and our crystal of the day. 
So today's crystal is fluorite. Now let me tell you a little bit about its qualities. It absorbs and neutralizes negative energy and stress. It is an excellent learning aid and increases our powers of concentration, self-confidence, and helps us in decision making. It encourages positivity, balances the energies, and improves balance and coordination, both physically and mentally. You're going to experience the energy of this crystal yourself, so I'm going to channel its energy to you. If you'd like to participate, just allow yourself to receive. I'll begin. channeling the energy of this crystal to you and through you. Take a moment to note how the energy of fluorite heals in your aura. draw our mini healing to a close. Just wanted to send you some healing energy to replenish after our cleansing. While we are in this energetic space, we are going to move into our affirmation for the day. So we are going to say this affirmation together three times. Let us begin. I give myself permission to feed my spirit, to be joyful, and to take care of my own heart today. I give myself permission to feed my spirit, to be joyful, and to take care of my own heart today. I give myself permission to feed my spirit, to be joyful, and to take care of my own heart today. If you are wanting to do so, I encourage you to take this affirmation forward with you in your day ahead. That concludes our affirmation. All right. So again, welcome everyone who's joining in. Um, thank you for being here and sharing your presence. All right, so next what I would like to share with you all is our tarot reading. So let's switch the screen here. We are going to be using a new deck. This is the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck. Um, I had this deck before, I decided to get it again, and I'm very glad. So, this card reading is meant to give us insight and guidance into April 15th, the day ahead. This reading is for everyone watching, whether you're watching this live or during morning in your time zone. You may find that you resonate with the entire message or just parts of the message and both are perfect. Let's see what the cards have to say to us today. I'm very fond of this deck. It was the ones, one of the ones that I learned to read on. And uh, when I moved states, I sold my old co copy, which is fine. I'm quite happy to have a new copy. card. All right. So we have three cards. 
I'm going to type the titles of these cards on screen and then I will read them to you. Because this is a collective reading and because I love the description so much, I do read from the booklet and this allows you to resonate with the specific sentences meant for you. So uh, after I read the cards, I'll take a look at the comments uh, just to make sure I'm not missing any questions. Uh, but a quick hello to uh, Daz, MJ, Mary, Michelle, Angie, and anyone else watching, of course. Welcome. So our first card is the Grail Knight. Uh, let's see. I can't see it too well because um, I have it so it's focused on me. So I'm going to hold it back here. <laughs> Romance and the seeking of that which is sacred, such are the missions of the Grail Knight. He represents the coming together of all elements to form perfect life through a union of heaven and earth or he signifies a romantic union of lover with lover. In the beginning of all relationships, there is a time when everything is perfect. One seeks out the discovery of love in the treasures of the other, all the while holding up a mirror in which beauty and perfection are reflected. There is both truth and illusion. When the Grail Knight appears, he lets you know that your own beauty, perfection, and innermost desires may be reflected in the mirror that is held up by the love of another. Indeed, love is in the air. Perhaps it's also a time for you to fall in love with yourself. If you don't, you run the risk of attracting the same affirmation from the outside world. Love attracts love. Be love and you shall find love. So I'd like to think love finds you. A gentle warning. Light cannot exist without shadow, so don't be fooled by the illusion of perfection. Be willing to see the shadow and ask for honesty. Then you can never be disappointed. This is a fortunate omen. I quite like this card. Uh, to me, something that I associate to the Grail Knight, uh, he seeks the sacred and, of course, the Holy Grail. And I would like to add that as well uh, for some of you whom it may be relevant, is the idea of seeking sacredness, seeking our spirituality and our own uh, higher self, a greater a connection to a greater divine light. Um, bringing ourselves up to a higher vibration and the importance of the concepts in this card, acknowledging uh, beauty and shadow and the way that we project or the way that our outer experiences reflect what's happening inside of us. So I'd like to add that as well. The next card is the dragon. The dragon comes to offer you its power and strength to protect and fortify you on this leg of your journey. The dragon symbolizes true power and reminds you that this infinite source is not found within your personality or ego. True power resides deep within your soul. So call on the dragon's spiritual power and strength and you will find a vast resource to strengthen your resolve through morality, integrity, and purpose. If you're struggling with these issues, 
the dragon will restore them to you. Remember that the power of the spiritual world can never be broken and true strength is found within, not in the outside world. Never mistake a gentle person for a weak one. Watch for a signal. The dragon always makes the next step clear and it gives you the power to take it. I think that speaks for itself. The final card today is the butterfly. When you see the butterfly, know that the power of beauty is in your life. The butterfly reminds you to see through its eyes, the eyes of love, and watch the world be transformed. Beauty is in the eye of the one who looks for it. Today, look for loveliness, even in the darkest places, and you'll be amazed. All of the mystery is beautiful. Beauty is everywhere. You just have to open your eyes. The next step can only be achieved if you do this today. Someone may give you something beautiful today. Remember to be grateful. Um, something came to mind while reading this card, the butterfly. And it was uh, something that happened when I was uh, much younger. I was just kind of walking through the city one day back when I lived in California. And uh, unfortunately, the, uh, many of the streets in like parts of LA are very dirty. So I was just out for a walk and I saw someone crouching in the gutter. And I, I got closer, I saw that it was a photographer and they were holding this large camera in their hands and they were kind of moving around uh, crouched close to the gutter as I passed by, I noticed um, like a, a pool of liquid that they were standing over and it uh, was like an oil spill. So there's all these radiant uh, rainbow rings upon the surface of this liquid. And that's what they were taking a picture of. And I was so inspired on that walk by this person who uh, found this uh, loveliness and this beauty in literally a filthy street gutter in um, part of LA. <laughs> so uh, that I remember that suddenly. I haven't thought about that incident in some time. So there is beauty uh, everywhere for those who look. And uh, that concludes our card reading for the following day, April 15. Bear all that in mind. All right. So, right. Uh, I have a tip of the day for you. And it is related to the numerology for April 15th. So, you can do this now or you can rewatch the video and do this. This is a quick, super simple, intuitive exercise. So it's not so much a tip as a, a little bit of participation. So uh, I have a question written down right now. And um, you are going to answer this question without knowing the question because you have that power, we are all intuitive. You can just contemplate within your own mind or write down, uh, take notes. I'd like you to take a moment to just um, keep your eyes open, look at the screen and be here, alert, aware. And I'd like you to really fully be in yourself in this moment. Um, kind of do a sensory check. Just note what you see, um, what you feel, what you hear, what you smell, the taste in your mouth, etc. for a moment. 
And now that you're fully present, now just notice, uh, to answer the question I've written down, notice whatever stands out to you, what comes to you, uh, feelings, memories, etc. Everything you now notice is in relation to this question. So just briefly mentally note or jot this down. Is this the temptation to close your eyes? Uh, so that concludes the exercise and um, you can just like, um, I don't know that it'll interfere too much if you haven't done it and you hear what the question is, but the question you're answering is, what do you need to nourish your spirit today? And uh, you can repeat this for the following day. Uh, it may take a little thinking to interpret your sensations, but that was the question. Uh, now, I'd like to share with you the num numerology of the day for April 15th. It is a six day, and six is a nurturing vibration. So the guidance for the day is to nurture the spirit with uh, divine love and fire. <laughs> That's what I wrote down, apparently. <laughs> um, so allow yourself to connect with uh, the love that is around us. It is a cosmic energy you can tune into. And uh, apparently I was feeling a strong connection with fire as a nurturing source for us spiritually, collectively. And I'd like you to refer to your impressions because uh, part of the sixth day, the following day, is nourishing your spirit, your heart, your being during this day, giving yourself what you need. Feed yourself. So that is the numerology of the day. That's awesome. Uh, there's no obligation to share your answers, but I love it. I love it. Um, uh, I noticed my fiance uh, opening and closing the door repeatedly because she was bringing groceries in. <laughs> um, so it's something that I'm currently working on today is saying yes more often and opening more doors. And um, yeah. So next, I would like to share with you the astrology for April 15th. Let's take a look. This is a description of the energy present in April 15th, how it influences all of us, regardless of your specific sun sign and the energy available for us to use if we choose to do so. So um, let's see. here we go. Let us start with the sun. And I try to remember to actually uh, take a look at the comments after this. I'm just um, flowing naturally into the next thing. So the sun is in Aries, and there is a lot of energy available to us now. And there's an emphasis on you, the individual, and what it is you want out of your life. My suggestion is to stay grounded and give yourself a focus at this time. The moon is in Aquarius, so in our internal selves, there's a desire to share what we know and our experiences with others, especially our feelings, to share that with others and to have a sense of greater community. And we may be seeking a new way of being during this period. Mercury is also in Aries, so the way that we think that we communicate with others and that we express ourselves will be very um, uh, full of energy, direct, aggressive, may possibly lead to confrontation, but I also like to think of it as leading, uh, encouraging honesty. Uh, Jupiter and Pluto are in Capricorn, so by embracing Capricorn qualities such as self-sufficiency, taking responsibility for your choices, and uh, responsibility for your life like you know if you want something you need to move yourself towards it and make some decisions you can manifest opportunities for yourself and manifest inner transformation and transformation in your circumstances uh, Venus is in Gemini so in our relationships and love life we're seeking uh, fun and we're seeking more social interaction 
and oh, maybe we're not feeling things being so serious, but we really are yearning for that uh, social stimulation and uh, fun. <laughs> Neptune is in Pisces, so we have greater conscious access to our intuition and our deeper emotions. If we choose to do so, we can look within and use this information about ourselves to make choices that put us in greater alignment with our highest good. Uranus is in Taurus, and this energy has been here for a while to shake things up. It is encouraging us to get out of our current status quo and to create a solid foundation for our lives. Mars and Saturn are in Aquarius, so there's a strong push of initiative and a lot of energy being directed towards what it is we are sharing with those around us and with our community on an individual level, on a greater level, and taking responsibility for what it is we're sharing, as well as there being a major restructuring of many parts of our lives and how we connect. So those are the planets. Let's take a look at um, some of our aspects. So the moon in, in Aquarius is in conjunct with Saturn. Uh, so our inner self is uh, concerned with uh, sharing of ourselves with others and we may be feeling very keenly that a huge shift and change in the restructuring of things and the way we connect with others at this time. And uh, the sun and Aries is squared with Jupiter and Capricorn. And kind of looking at and back and forth between my notes and the screen. So Sun and Aries squared with Jupiter and Capricorn. So uh, there's a lot of energy in the Sun and Aries, but it can be kind of unfocused, which is why that focusing is my suggestion. And Jupiter and Capricorn is like there are opportunities are possible for us, but only if we are like organized and we direct ourselves very strongly. So it's more like Jupiter and Capricorn trying to rein and focus the energy of the sun at this time. So that is how I would take that. Um, the moon is also in conjunct with Mars as it was in Saturn earlier. So it just happens at different points of the day. And so uh, again, the internal self, there will be like a boost of energy in wanting to share of our feelings and so on with others today. And I feel like that may be a way that we can find nurturance for ourselves is paying attention to what's happening in our feelings and seeking, what's the word? Um, a vent, an expression, an outlet an outlet for it. So that is the astrology for April 15th. All right, I'm going to take a quick look at our comments. That just looks like um, people sharing their impressions from our earlier exercise. Uh, all right, I'm not able to really see all of them like this. So just a second, I definitely want to see your guys' comments and then we will move along. So uh, still to do today is our psychic shielding and setting our intention for the day. Okay, 
<laughs> Sorry for the pause. I just wanted to read everything. There's no question, so we will move along. So I'd like to take a moment to say MMR is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. Um, on screen in a moment are the names of the members of our Patreon. Thank you for your continued support and for helping me create spiritual content and have the ability to be here with everyone every single day to share this information. So also thank you to everyone who shares this video every day and to all of, all of you who watch. This was made for you. Thank you for making this part of your spiritual journey. If you'd like to learn how to support MMR, learn more about this project, and get access to exclusive, exclusive content, please visit patreon.com slash morning metaphysical report. Uh, the link is also in the description of the video. So um, one of the exclusive content members get is access to the monthly metaphysical reports. Uh, if that interests you, check out the link. Now, I'd like to guide you through a psychic shielding exercise. Uh, thank you for the feedback about the exercises. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad you guys are practicing each time. Um, like with a lot of things, one gets better by uh, doing it more often. So uh, shielding every day is very helpful. It can protect you from foreign and hostile energy from other people or spirits. If you are practicing healing on yourself or receiving healing, it can protect that work from being interfered with energetically. And um, it's very useful to do at the beginning of your day, as well as at the end, we can be vulnerable when we sleep. So we're going to do this together right now. And you can visualize, like picture this in your mind, or just intend and trust that your energy will respond to your intention. So imagine or intend drawing a gold equal armed cross in front of you. And in the center of that cross, see a white rose, open and blue. I find it helpful to like physically draw this. So I encourage you to do that. Um, you're gonna bring your arm up and imagine drawing like a gold line until you're over your head, draw a cross, and then bloom a rose in the center. Draw a gold line down to behind you, draw a cross, bloom a rose, uh, if I were standing, I would actually turn to face that direction, uh, so you may find that helpful as well. Uh, drawing the gold line down, and then draw a cross and bloom a rose beneath you. Now swing your arm to, and visualize connecting these four crosses in a gold ring that surrounds you. Now with your hand in front, draw a gold line through to the side, draw a cross, and bloom a rose. Draw a line to connect with the cross behind you and draw a cross and bloom a rose on the other side. You'll want to swing your arm around again to connect these crosses in a horizontal ring. Um, stop here at the side and draw a line connecting the crosses in a vertical ring going the other direction. So you should be inside of three gold rings. Now imagine or intend spreading that gold energy so that it fills in the spaces between all the rings so you are inside of a complete gold sphere. And you have cast a psychic shield. I hope that it serves you well today. Um, I did not come up with this. Um, my teacher taught to me and she learned it from her teachers. It's referred to, I don't, I've never searched on the internet or anything. I don't know that it's like a recorded thing, but it works. And uh, 
I refer to, we refer to it as the Rose Cross Shield. Um, just so there's like a simple way to refer to it. Uh, now we're going to set an intention for our day ahead, April 15th. I encourage you to set an intention for yourself or to accept my intention for you. We are the creators of our reality and this is a simple way to engage that for ourselves. This day ahead brings us a greater openness to allow in the flow of the universe to nurture us and to guide us. This day ahead, we say yes to our highest good, to all the good coming in for us and to all the guidance being sent our way. We know that ahead of us is more peace, more abundance, more joy, more health, more love. At any time, we can tap into our divine source. We are grateful, and so it is. Thanks for joining me. Remember to like, follow, or subscribe to the page or channel where you're watching this. And remember to share this video when it's morning in your time zone. Thank you everyone for being here and have a beautiful day ahead. Oh, sorry, I know I just said goodbye, but there is a question that I noticed at the literally the very last second. <laughs> so, um, Diane Long asks, any advice on energetic shielding against viruses? Um, she says, violent flame has been my go-to, but any other ideas, welcome. Of course, you should practice uh, practical protections. Um, and on my page on Facebook, Lysander Xanthus Clairvoyant Psychic, um, you may have to use a search bar for it, but I did... I wrote a brief article about the about disease spirits, uh, specifically the one that we are experiencing at present. And essentially, the guidance is to stay aligned to a place of love and peace. That these things, strictly on a metaphysical level, these things are not compatible with that spirit. And then uh, I also created a healing video in relation to this. So you can find those in my posts or under the videos tab. And of course, uh, generally maintaining your immunity by taking care of your physical health, keeping stress down, and of course, uh, other practical considerations and uh, obviously a healthy use of uh, disinfectant sprays, especially on your shoes, the bottom of your shoes and uh, covering your face. So uh, be blessed all, be safe, be well, and I'll see you all again soon. Have a beautiful day.